Hi there and welcome to another quick tip. This quick tip is all about multicam editing within DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci Resolve has uh, become a really powerful editing tool, non-linear editing tool since uh, version 12, 12.5 and is capable of doing multicam editing as well. Um, so let's, uh, let's have a look. I've imported some files in my media pool inside of the media room and I'd like to convert them to a multicam edit. So I'm gonna right click my selection and create a new multicam uh, clip using selected clips. And there are several ways to align those clips because every camera has a different starting point. So we need to align them based on sound. Well, you can see there are several options possible. This one is best with sound. So I'm gonna use sound in this case. And I'm gonna disable this option, move source clips to original clips bin. Now this option makes another bin for it and uh, puts all your files in there. Um, now it's inlining your files and it's created a multicam edit and when you select it inside of the media room you can see all those different angles in one clip which we can edit inside of the edit room. So I'm going to hop over to the edit room and create a new timeline. So file new timeline. Let's give it a name. Okay and there's nothing in there yet but you can drag the multicam sequence onto your timeline with an insert edit or an override edit. There we go. Well, at first there's not much happening inside of the monitors because probably the audio will be selected first as the, as the first angle inside of your multicam edit. So we need to enable the uh, multicam view over here. And that shows us all the angles which are being used inside of the, uh, of the edit. To make sure that we're gonna use the audio inside of the timeline, we need to enable the audio only tool, hit alt on the keyboard and click on the angle one. That makes sure that the audio will be used inside of your timeline. Of course, now we need to edit uh, the video only. So we're gonna enable a video only, search for the beginning of the music, which is about here. Okay. And um, now you want to, uh, to switch from camera to camera like a real director, camera one, camera two, camera three, etc. So we need to hit play and it allows us to switch between cameras like a true director. And you will end up with some extra cuts inside of your timeline. Um, of course, you need to do the whole uh, video, but that would make it a long tutorial. So I've got a few cuts, a few different camera angles, which are made inside of my timeline. Of course, I can alter the timeline by selecting a clip and deleting the clip with backspace and uh, make this a bit longer again. Of course, all these things are possible. I'm gonna command Z to make my cuts complete again. When you are editing your multicam, like this. You could also use the numbers on your keyboard. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So change it to camera angle four and four on the keyboard. There we go. Six again. Angle two. Four. So this is a pretty slick way to make a multicam. Of course, making a multicam edit is uh, really uh, exhausting your computer, uh, playing all those tracks uh, together. So when your edit is finished, you'd like to flatten your multicam edit. So when I hit Command A to select all the clips and right click the clips on my timeline, I can flatten the multicam clip. which makes sure that your multicam edit will play back really smoothly. So this is uh, multicam editing within uh, DaVinci Resolve. Pretty nice and slick workflow to make your multicam edit. Thank you for watching and see you again later. Bye bye.